What is up, you lovely lot? Welcome back to the channel. We're on the 50p coin hunt again today. We've got ourselves 250 quid from the bank, sealed bags. So, always exciting. <laughs> what are we looking for? Well, any picture coins, of course. But we're still stuck on these same four to complete the collection. 2009 Kew Gardens. And then the three Olympics, Olympic football, Olympic weightlifting, and Paralympic wheelchair rugby. How many times I've said that a combination of coins is ridiculous now. We need to find something for the book. <laughs> we also, of course, are looking for key dates as well. We generally have a look through after the hunt to see if we missed any of those. So here's two from last time to 2017 low minted shields always worth picking up so they will go in the keepers box let's get into today's bag and see what it's got for us let's do it i hope everyone's well i'm pretty well myself we have got a few questions as well from the comments in the last hunt so we'll get into them shortly. There's a find though already. It's a really common one though. The tale of Peter Rabbit from 2017. Anything else in bag number one? Yes. Or oh, a couple more actually. There's one, a diversity built Britain. Again, pretty common. And another fairly common one in Mr. Jeremy Fisher from the 2017 Potter set again. Keep on rolling. Three coins in bag number one. Nothing spectacular, but at least it's something. There's another diversity. 10.3 million of those. We were hopeful for a low number on that minted figure, but it wasn't to be, unfortunately. Just the diversity in bag number two. But yeah, our luck's been okay recently. Two pounds, we've been doing better for sure. Oh, here we go. <laughs> that way up. It's an Olympic. Olympic athletics. And of course, with this, you've always got to check because you never know. It might be that 2009 dated one, which would be a dream. <laughs> 2011. Olympic athletics, cracking find. Three bags in and we've got an Olympic. It's a good sign, awesome. There's another Sporting 50p. This is the Roger Bannister four minute mile, 2004. It's a pretty common one though. But nice to get an Olympic. It's just nice to get one Olympic in a hunt these days, hopefully. We can get more than that today, we shall see. There's Christopher Ironside from 2013. Seven million of these minted. This was actually the, uh, his initial design for the 50p, but it got changed to the Britannia. So they commemorated him with that one a bit later on. There's a scouting from 2007, 100 years of scouting. It's another pretty common one, but we're getting a nice mix already. Right, questions. There's another diversity. So Gareth Fleming is asking, how do you get a big bag of coins? Which is probably the most asked question in the comments. Um, so, I mean, the answer is as obvious as it seems either from a bank or from a post office. A business account will certainly help. Nothing in that bag. Um, and it's not too difficult to open one as a sole trader. So it is an option. Uh, but you can get lucky without having an account sometimes. Victoria Cross, the medals there from 2006. And in my experience, it just depends from branch to branch. Public libraries from 2000. 
Uh, the same bank, different branches will be different and even different people working behind the counter will give you different results as well. So there's a Commonwealth Games Glasgow from 2014. That's another pretty common one though. There we go, there's Benjamin Bunny. And you've always got to check these for a die rotation. Make sure the queen is lined up nicely. That's correct. But yeah, find the right, the right branch with the right staff behind the counter and you can get some good, good luck with um, getting bags of coins, but it is really hit and miss and you'll have to, have to do the mileage. Oh, there's a 2017 shield to go with the two we had at the beginning. Nice, we'll pop that down there. Don't mind finding those all day long. But yeah, if business account's not an option, you've got to keep trying your luck with places and try and make friends in these banks and post offices. Um, I think your demeanor probably helps a little bit. Some people will have their mind made up before you even ask the question, whether it's because of rules or because it's just easier for them. <laughs> There's a representation of the People Act from 2018. It's another pretty common one. We're getting a lot of different finds though today. Excellent. So yeah, Gareth, uh, banks or post offices, different banks, different branches of post offices will vary. Get out there and try your luck. You don't know if you don't ask, I guess. Right, another question we have. Ooh, there's Paddington Bear at St Paul's Cathedral. Haven't seen a Paddington yet today. We have Alan Pritchard asking, how do the Royal Mint, oh wow, that's seen better days, hasn't it? Definitely, of course, post mint damage that. So obvious. Uh, Alan Pritchard asking, how do the Royal Mint decide mintage figures for each coin? Well, Apparently, it's nothing to do with the Royal Mint. The mintage figures is decided by Her Majesty's Treasury. Um, yeah, it's as simple as that, basically. That's what they'll tell you. It's not decided by them. It's all decided by the Treasury. So that's who to point the finger at. <laughs> but while we're not getting any commemoratives in circulation at the moment, and why these bizarre miniature figures that they choose to do sometimes. All right, come on, more Olympics, please. As I said, we will go through and check all of these for key dates or any errors that I might have missed while we're just flicking through quickly. There's another Christopher Ironside. Um, we have another question. This is from RJA Ravenheart Detects. Obviously a metal detectorist. Hope you're finding some good stuff out there. Oh, there's a couple to kick us off in this bag. A 2017 Tale of Peter Rabbit. And Paddington at the Tower of London as well. Next to his, next to his self. Uh, at St Paul's. Yeah, so uh, Ravenheart Detects asking, is the Kitchener Mule error real? 100%, it's definitely real. I've seen one with my own eyes in the flesh, as it were. They are definitely real. Um, and the coin tuber has found one recently and the video is coming soon. That's not a spoiler because it's kind of already been spoiled to an extent already uh, because it popped up in another video elsewhere. As a Benjamin Bunny. Uh, but yeah, they're definitely out there. Only three are known to my knowledge. It's a real bizarre one. I mean, has it come out of a PNC or some sort of pack? Why is there so few of them? It is a real oddity. Um, so yeah, if you don't know about the Lord Kitchener mule error and you've got a few of those First World War two pound coins tucked away with Lord Kitchener on them. Get them out, have a check on the, uh, the obverse on the queen side. It should say two pounds at the bottom. If it doesn't, you've got one of those mule errors. 
There's a dictionary, 250 years of Samuel Johnson's dictionary in 2005. We have found a nice mix today. We've still got plenty of bags left as well. A few more chances to find something for the book. There's another Taylor Peter Rabbit though. 19.9 million of those out there. They're everywhere. We do seem to find more of those than Benjamin Bunnies though. I don't know if that's... I don't know why that is. <laughs> There's 2017's Tom Kitten. Completing that 2017 Potter set. Tom Kitten, Benjamin Bunny, Jeremy Fisher, and Taylor Peter Rabbit. Another Christopher Ironside. It's not a rare coin, but it's unusual to find three in a hunt. Especially at this stage. Could be more in there. And then we have a question from my man, Bo Selector Coins. Do you believe in Sasquatch, aka Bigfoot? <laughs> um, hmm. I wouldn't, what I'd say is, I don't believe that it definitely doesn't exist, if that makes sense. Um, I'm to be convinced. Should I put it that way? <laughs> what does everybody else think about that one? Let me know in the comments. Are you a believer? There's another Taylor Peter Rabbit. Yeah, I mean, I'm open-minded when it comes to stuff like that. But I've got to see the evidence though, you know. There's another Diversity Built Britain. Still got quite a few bags left here, actually. My pace is slow, or is it just because we're finding so much? Probably that. We could do a few more for the bottom row though. Oh, Ferrero Rocher 50p, that's a new one. <laughs> Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more bags. Excellent. The more, the merrier. Where's that Kew Gardens hiding? But do let me know in the comments if you've been finding anything good recently. There's another Diversity Built Britain. And if you're not fully caught up with the channel recently, definitely been missing some pretty cool videos in my opinion. We've had some amazing coin sets, some brilliant bargains from the coin fair and the coin stall. Definitely worth going and checking those videos out if you've not seen them. There's a Mr. Jeremy Fisher. And if you didn't see our last two pound coin hunt, definitely worth a watch as well. So go and check that out. After this one, of course, because we're gonna find something brilliant. And that's pretty cool. You don't see these too often in this condition. A 1997 in pretty fresh condition. It's not the best. We've definitely got one better in the date run, but that's pretty clean. I might even lean towards saying that was a bunk initially because the strike on it is so clean. But I may be waffling absolute nonsense. Pretty cool though, we'll pop it to the side. We probably won't keep it because we do already have a stunning 1997 in our date run. I do need to refresh my memory of those dates we still need to find because we are keeping an eye out for anything in spectacular condition for the date run on the normal looking coins, the Britannias and the Shields. We look through so many coins, we can, I think we can afford to be really picky on our date run, so they have to be absolute stunners. There's another scouting 100 years of. And four more bags to go. Come on, we don't want another single Olympics. Um, oh, shambles. I mean, one Olympic, of course, is better than none, but... Please, come on. <laughs> There's another Paddington at St. Paul's Cathedral. 
you know what we haven't found for a long time now? Flopsy Bunny or 2018 Peter Rabbit. Those 2018 potters eluding us at the moment. As predicted, becoming very, very scarce with those crazily low miniatures. Oh, oh, of course. Of course we find an Olympic and it's in an absolute state. 2011 on the obverse. It's going to be a really good one on one we need. If it's one we need, it's going in the book. I don't even care. <laughs> Place your bets. Shooting. <laughs> We don't need it. It is an Olympic. We'll take it. <laughs> oh, no way. No way. <laughs> Was not ready for that. Did anybody else see that? I'm sure you probably did. I did not see that. Rowan, which was actually the last coin we added to the book. Olympic Rowan. It was one we were stuck on. Um, so yeah, there's another. Wow. Okay. Excellent. Now we're talking. Anymore? <laughs> Shame about the state of the shooting, but we'll certainly take that rowing find. Last couple of bags. Any more laughter luck? Oh, another diversity. Proving how common they are. The biggest back on the table of course the most recent release as well so to be expected I guess right last bag any last bag luck thanks for everyone asking questions in the comments 2017 Benjamin Bunny gives us something to chat about oh, dropped, a, dropped a coin on Tom Kitten there at some point and not seen it there's another iron side. Four of those. Lots of coins today. A decent hunt. And definitely, what you're finding three Olympics. You cannot complain, can you? Shame about the state of the shooting, but lovely jubbly athletics and rowing. 